as short as possible so then we can get into the actual fun stuff in the next tutorial everything from the um, last tutorial is the exact same except um, let's look above the closed window stuff well one thing about the closed window is that before I had the volatile int and I said it had it equal to false you can do that it doesn't really matter but I just changed it to volatile bool I guess it just makes more sense that way now um, for our timer routines uh, remember to include timer install timer Allegro does this automatically but just to be safe on safe side install timer for backwards compatibility and for at the top of our program we have volatile long and I named it timer and I set it equal to zero I made a function just like the um, just exactly the close button routine um, I made a function called timer and I increment it by one right and then I put end of function um, and increment that's the name of the function simple enough okay now let's go here we just lock the function and lock the variable now for the timer routine you have to lock the function and you have to lock the variable right or else um, um, with the interrupts it might not work as expected now the last but not least thing is um, to put install underscore int underscore ex and the first parameter asks for the function that it's gonna call to and the second one is um, as for the type of timer routine you're going to use. Now, I'm not going in depth about using timers in these tutorials. Those are for later tutorials when we go to countdown timers and such. For now, we're going to use BPS underscore two underscore timer and put a hundred. Basically, it's saying a hundred ticks per second, a um, hundred beats per second, I would guess, or whatever. So then it re has a refresh rate of a hundred beats or ticks per second and that's a decent and a pretty good refresh rate and then this is what I mean by the update loop from my last tutorial so the reason why we have an update loop is that you wanna update the game multiple times and you only wanna draw once because the faster the game can update the better and more fluent your game will flow it kind of seems stupid to update multiple times and draw once, but it will it will better your program flow and on every single computer everything will run the same and run smoothly. So for our program from our last tutorial, this won't work the best because um for this program to work, we need to update once then draw once after. But this time it's going to update multiple times and then draw it once after so this program is gonna seem buggy right so I just didn't feel like changing it until we actually get into like doing actual key presses and stuff like that so it's gonna have to stay the same I'm still gonna be posting this source code on my website if you guys want it but it's gonna be buggy but anyways the upload um loop basically works like this uh we put while and then um the name of the variable I named at the top so I named it timer right so we say while timer is greater than zero then do all your update method stuff in here and at the end of it you have to make sure you decrease timer um, by one if you don't then the update method will never indeed exit and you have an infinite infinite update loop and therefore your program is gonna basically crash so anyways um, everything else from the program change I just took um, the if and else statements from here and just put rest um, for 500 milliseconds and everything is just the same so if you run the program it's gonna be buggy you can run it but it doesn't really work properly but at least you get a f you know how to do frames per second so when you do your um, methods like this your functions like this and your game loop like this then it'll your games will run the same on every single PC no matter how fast or how slow it is it will run on the same speed which is what you really need in the game so thanks for watching this tutorial hope you enjoyed it and some fun stuff is coming next tutorial so thanks for watching and bye